guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. As promised, we are going to be propagating and staking my philodendron varicosum. I already took her out of my greenhouse cabinet, so without further ado, let's get right into it. So it's almost been a week since I filmed my last video, and in that video I showed you a bunch of new planty things that I got, including my brand new philodendron varicosum. Here are some of the leaves. I think I have two pretty healthy leaves on this plant, but the other two are a little tarnished. I did buy it from a seller on Etsy that sells small damaged plants in their philodendron varicosum section. So I did know the gamble that I was taking when I bought this large damaged plant. However, it did come a lot healthier than I ever thought it would have. There are several growth points on this plant. That's why I'm so eager to propagate it. I would have propagated it the first day that I got it, but if you watched my last video, this plant literally came with fungus gnats. So I went into rescue mode and I dunked it into a fungicide solution, <laughs> anti-bug solution, literally just a mixture of insecticidal soap, Dawn dish soap and peroxide and I dunked the whole plant before transferring it to pond. There's a few pieces of LECA in there and I put it up on these bamboo sticks that I had or that the plant came with. I can't remember because a lot of plants that I buy on Etsy come with bamboo sticks. But yes, there are several growth points on this plant. I did show you a couple in the last video, but that's a growth point there. And there's one on every single node. So I am going to be taking two cuts from this plant and then we're going to be staking it up using my new Eco Homes moss pole. I cannot wait to put this in the pot but I'm definitely more eager to propagate this plant. The thing that I'm learning about philodendron is if you buy one, buy a big one. Let me stop lying because it depends on the plant. I'm very eager to propagate this plant, especially after propagating my philodendron mammei. Those propagations are literally insane. I actually potted up two of them. If you follow me on my Mother of Plants Instagram, I'm sure you've seen them multiple times. Those plants are doing so freaking good. I'll show you a couple of them really quick before we propagate my philodendron varicosum. One second. So this is... So this is one of the cuttings that I had potted up into LECA. I think I potted this up in a recent video as well. I will link it down below. But look at how great it's doing. Let's see if I can find the roots. It's doing so freaking good. Like look at all the healthy leaves. This is my best one and I can't stop looking at it every single day. Already has, oh, there's so many leaves. It already has a new growth point coming in but literally this plant always has a new growth point on every single plant that I have. So it does give me a lot of hope that I'll have success with my philodendron varicosum because of how well this one's doing. This, this is another one that I potted up into LECA. Look at how freaking good it's doing. Although this, <clears throat> although this leaf right here has a little bit of grossness on it, it still has another growth point and looks super freaking healthy. This is my favorite plant right now, clearly. I'm so happy I bought it. This is probably one of the best plants I've ever bought just because of how easy it is to care for, how easy it was to propagate, and how easy it was to pot up into a semi-hydro setup. It can't get any better than this. Okay, I need some scissors and some wipes, some scissors. Don't mind me, just dying from allergies. I swear, there's like one round of allergies in the beginning of spring and then at the beginning of fall again, because I'm dying every day. I'm just sanitizing the eyebrow scissors that I don't use on my eyebrows, because I don't do my own eyebrows. <laughs> oh my god, oh, too many things, too many things. So I'm definitely gonna take a top cut. A top cut would be cutting right here and this top cut, I'm just gonna take it and I'll show you what it looks like after. Woo, I'm so excited. Okay, let's just cut it. Oh my God, I'm so excited. It's gonna do so good. Should I just do it? Ah, I'm scared. <gasps> Woo. That was a lot easier than I thought. Should I have given it more? Sit down. 
so this is the first cut that i just took and look at it this leaf looks so weird but i do have it's a little juicy this leaf does look so weird but i do have confidence that it is going to produce a very nice leaf next we already have a growth point right here which i typically don't propagate plants when they have a growth point like that but since I ripped it out of soil and put it into pond, I know it was going to take a really, really long time to unfurl. So I took the chance anyway. And I'm just going to put this to the side and let it callus over, meaning wait till it's not as juicy. Okay, we're going to take the next cut, which is going to be right here under this node. <gasps> Don't ask me why I gasped gotta cut the bamboo I mean the string off the top to get him off this is the healthiest leaf on the plant that I have and I'm so excited I'm propagating it because I know it's gonna put out a beast of a leaf I can't freaking wait yay so this cut looks like this at the bottom probably just gonna put it in some water like that I have six other philodendron mammy I'm propagating I need to show you one of the propagations. It's not even one of the propagations. It's the plant that I left in the pot after I propagated the entire philodendron mammii. I'm shook. Okay, so this is my philodendron mammii that I left in the pot. I also have eight other, I also have eight other propagations propagating because it was a large plant. But this is what I left in the pot just to see if it could grow a little bit more after I propagated the shit out of it. How is there a leaf coming out right there? Like, why didn't a leaf come out right there when it had a full plant? Like, that's so crazy that a leaf formed inside of here and it's gonna pop out. This plant is crazy. This is my first philodendron varicosum that I always talk about. It's doing terrible, it always has since I got it literally. But it is currently putting out a new leaf right there, so I keep her alive. But it's nothing compared to this plant, and this plant was only 17 more dollars, which is crazy. So I'm definitely gonna have to cut this moss pole up to here, and I'll extend it when I need to. It's not gonna be able to fit in the greenhouse if I put this whole thing in there. It's probably not a good place to cut because that thing is right there. I'm scared, what if this breaks the whole thing? Uh, Oh my god, this would have been easier if I did it when it wasn't connected, but I don't feel like connecting it again. If you want to see these unfolded, just watch my last video when I took them out the package. They come completely unfolded, just like a sheet of plastic that you have to snap together. Okay, I'm, I'm having a hard time. Now we have a little mouse pole and a bigger mouse pole. I kind of cut it like that because it's connected at the back through these little slits right here and I didn't want to accidentally cut one. So I have some moss right here. Oh my God, I hate working with moss because it gets dusty and my allergies are already acting up, so. I'm just filling up the moss pole. Maybe I can use the, oh no, I don't want it to like fall out of here. What are you doing? Okay, let's do a lot at once. Oh no, there's so many things falling that I'm gonna have to clean up later. Why not? Maybe I can use one of those bamboo sticks because I need something to shove this down. I'm having a hard time. Oh God, everything creates dust, I swear. Oh no, thank you. Okay. Let's do this. We're gonna put the ugly side in the pot. I just realized I'm gonna have to literally repot my entire philodendron to get this in the pot. But that's okay. That's what we signed up for. Can you guys believe Hocus Pocus 2 is coming out? I think they literally filmed that movie like 10 minutes away from my house, which is crazy. So I can't wait to see it. See if I recognize anything. Oh my god, one of the Purge movies was actually filmed like a street over from where I live. And when, every time I watch that movie, it's like, oh my god. But I'll tell you, it's really weird to see your tiny neighborhood that you grew up in, in a movie. I don't know which Purge it is, honestly. 
This isn't as bad as I thought. My allergies aren't acting up that bad, even though I literally feel like I'm dying slightly. Keep shoving. Keep shoving. I'm definitely gonna wet this before we give it to the varicosum because sheesh. Hopefully this is a lot <coughs> Hopefully this is a lot easier to water than my other moss poles because those are kind of hard to, well, I can't even say they're hard to water. I just don't water them enough. So they become hydrophobic and then when I try to water them, all the water goes everywhere but into the moss, so. Sounds like a me problem. I'll figure it out. Like I always do. I don't know why I thought I wasn't gonna have enough moss. Like I have enough for two of these things. I don't know if I clean this moss, is that gross? Actually, I would never use gross moss. So this definitely has to be clean because I'm low-key a germaphobe. And if it's not, so help me God. I'm just kidding. Oh shit. Is this moss gonna rot in the pot? Because it's not supposed to be consistently wet? Or is it? I don't know, we'll see. I'm not putting Lekka at the bottom. I was gonna, but that seems like a lot of work, so. We can skip it for now. I need to do a planty updates video because a lot of things are growing in the jungle. Okay, she's finally all filled up. I left a little gap at the bottom to squish into the pot so the pond has somewhere to go just to create more stability. I'm just gonna go wet her really quick. Be right back. And this is what it looks like wet. Nice and juicy. So this is what I have left of the plant. These two leaves, this leaf is terrible. I should propagate that as well. Should I? I'm doing it. Oh my God, should I? I did it. Just to nip that in the bud really quick. It looks like that. It looks like it's gonna root up pretty easily because it already had some roots growing. Although these are dry and can be picked off. Oh, they're pretty strong. But I'm gonna put it so that the moss pole can help this growth point produce new growth. So this should be a lot easier since we took, oh, I need, oh my God. Look what I just noticed. Look at that big fuzzy root right there. Super freaking cool. Hopefully I didn't do too much damage. I think I need to take the whole plant out. So the whole plant is out. We went from a foot long varicosum. Oh my God, this takes up a lot of room in the pot though. Just to be honest, I think this is too big for this pot and that I should be using these moss poles for bigger pots. So if you saw my last video, this is one of the pots. One of these right here. It's a self-watering pot. I think I actually am going to pot this in here. Then we stick in a mouse pole like this. <gasps> no! Get back in there. What are you doing? Then we use bamboo stick. That's a lot of down, down movement. I don't think this is a good idea at all. Ooh, to my doing. Maybe if I put Lekka at the bottom, I'll feel better, but I feel like the Lekka's gonna just pour out of those, but I'm doing it anyway, so. Please halt. Just cleaned off some Lekka. How am I gonna do this? Having your plants in a semi-hydro setup is definitely a lot more work than having your plants in soil. I'll be the first one to tell you, but I wouldn't trade it to go back to soil, ever. Is this dumb? I hope they don't all fall out when I flip it. This is what it looks like. Oh, I'm just gonna hurry up and stick it in here. Ah! I'm literally just putting them back in because there's a gap because some fell out. Obviously. I really don't feel like doing this right now. Oh, <laughs> people are like, your plants always look so healthy. What do you do? 
I never know. Like, what even? Am, what am I doing right now? No idea. You know, you don't want to do something anymore, so you start doing it half-assed. I'm trying not to do that right now. I think we're almost where I need us to be. Okay. That's where we are right now. And now I'm standing up so we can pot this. I really wanted to get that cute plant tape that everybody has, that cute green plant tape, but I don't have it. I'm just taking the rest of this pond to cover the roots. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to put some Lekka back here. All good. I have all the stuff to make my DIY pond, but I'm saving it for a video. So that leads us to doing things like this. Okay. I didn't think I was gonna repot this whole thing today like this, but here we are. Yay, oh wait, I gotta attach it, okay. Boop. Anytime I loop anything, the SpongeBob Tie Your Shoe song is stuck in my head. Anytime, like am I okay? <gasps> Yay! Oh my God, I think this is gonna really work. Oh my God, I never did anything like that. Well, I have several videos staking my plants, but I've never done it properly. Actually, let me not say that. I've done it properly, but I haven't used the proper moss poles, like the ones that I've linked in previous videos, the circular, one, circular ones. Those ones don't really protrude that much moss, so it kind of doesn't give the plant's roots a chance to latch onto it because the moss is so deep embedded into the pole with so much plastic built around it. So I'm gonna start replacing that link with this type of moss pole in the description box because these, are ideal. I'm so happy I just did that. This is so cool, let's water it. In the new pot with the new pole, what? This is my new best friend. How cute is this? It looks so nice, I'm so happy there's only one leaf now because it's just easier to take care of. Let me water this guy. I'm putting him back in the Ikea greenhouse cabinet and this pot is so much bigger so I'm nervous. But I just took my mammy eyes, the ones that I potted up and showed you earlier. Those were in my greenhouse up until yesterday. I'm getting them out because they're such massive plants that I don't want them to take over my greenhouse and I don't want them to get too used to the humidity in there because there ain't that much room in there. Okay, water. Let me put some more water in here just to see. Ooh. I like how you can see if it's wet. I know there's a huge freaking glare, but I poured the water down here and I'm gonna pour some in the pot as well. Probably a lot because the plant's not actually sitting in the water. There's a water gauge right there. So the water will wick up as time moves along. I'm so excited. And look how close it is to the moss. Oh, heck yeah. Woohoo. Okay, I'm gonna go put him in the greenhouse and then I'll be right back so we can finally put some rooting hormone on those varicose propagations and get them into a vessel. Okay, let's wrap this up. We have one, two, three philodendron varicosum propagations. I'm literally living the dream. And this one, I cannot wait until the leaf unfurls. When I got this plant, there were literally fungus gnats in the sheets. It was disgusting. So I got this jar of water to stick them in. And of course, I have my Clone X rooting hormone. Ew, there's a hair on it. Is that a hair? I'm gonna stick him in here like that. And the last one, it's stuck in here. Ah, please get out. It's definitely stuck there for a second. And the last one, I literally couldn't be happier. That does bring me to the end of today's video. Give me a thumbs up if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to follow me on my Mother of Plants Instagram. And until my next video, bye guys.